It was Colombia's biggest privatization deal in a decade. And people are now asking why the government would sell power company Isahen, a cherished state-owned asset, to a foreign group. CCTV's Michelle Bege has the story. In Medellin, Colombians took to the streets to say no to the sale of the state-run power generator Isagen. Months before the auction to sell 57 percent of the government assets, social media campaigns touted the feelings of national pride for Isagen, a company that many considered to be run well. The majority of Colombia's Congress voiced their opposition to the sale of what they called the crown jewel of state-run companies. Despite the opposition, on January 13th, 57.6 percent of Isagen was auctioned off to the only bidder, Canadian investment fund Brookfield Asset Management. The two billion U.S. dollars it was sold for was the minimum price set by the government. Isagen is one of the country's biggest power companies, generating nearly 16 percent of the electricity used in Colombia. But the Colombian lawyers in charge of fighting the sale say it was worth much more than its six hydroelectric plants. This is so much more than a business. There are natural resources at stake. A huge part of our biodiversity, large amounts of water and land, that is what the government sold. <laughs> President Juan Manuel Santos argues the sale would provide the government with much needed cash to fund an important infrastructure project to help the country's economic competitiveness. Brookfield has said in a statement that it will complete complete the deal by paying in cash in U.S. dollars by January 26, the closing date of the sale. But citizens continue to express concern. They could raise the price of energy whenever they want to. I like what President Santos has done, but not in this situation. I agree with the sale as long as the money is used for infrastructure and not for the fiscal deficit that this government has created. Concerns have also been raised that Isagen was undersold. Despite the high political costs, the Colombian government has not wavered on the sale. Michelle Begues, CCTV, Colombia.